So there was a big red and like three trouts on the second one. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Oh, my goodness. Hey, good morning, dude. So I just got down to one of my buddy's house. His name is Steve, and you've seen him in a bunch of my videos. Okay, man, it is, it is, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty morning, okay? We're about to jump on his boat right now, and we're gonna take it offshore today and see what we can catch. Good morning. Out on a glass minnow. All right, really, are there any out there? There's some big ones on the lake today. Really, there's a red, like, well, that's a mullet, Never mind. Oh. Three can catch Let me everything. see it. They can, glass minnows do catch everything. <laughs> I had a little one swipe at it on the way. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Oh, my goodness. There's some big trout here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's a red. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh, he's going to break me off. No, he's not. Look at, oh, he's foul hooked. Look at that. Well, that's how you got to do it. He's foul hooked. Man. I don't really know if that counts for the glass minnow or not. He was going for it. I know that. I don't even need to leave the dock right here. Look at that. How about that, guys? I've been here 30 seconds and already caught a keeper redfish. That might mean it's going to be a good day. We're headed out of his bayou right now. There's a bunch of fish blowing up. So I'm going to try to go two for two right here before we even start the day. Oh, Mike's on. What do you got? Oh, I got him too. Never mind. Oh, he came off. Is it a ladyfish? Yeah. Uh, some of those were big blow ups, it looks like. Though. Sounds like I need to come back in here with my boat and just make a YouTube video. I'm going to go fish all these green lights one day. Look how calm it is out here, guys. We just got out into the Gulf a little ways, and it is like it's like a mill pond out here, man. We're looking for floating structure right now, trying to find a mahi or anything like that. So check it out, guys. We stopped on this turtle right here because we thought it was a floating board, and Steve hooked up with a mahi on the first cast right off this turtle's back. Where? That was a. That, that is a mahi, you're right. Drop it down to the bottom. Look at that uh, turtle, guys. He's injured. Something bit his front uh, flapper. And he's barely able to swim down, unfortunately. See this grass we found right here, guys? This is like river hyacinth. This is not your normal sargasm. This is kind of nasty grass. So we're a little unsure what it's going to produce here these are the two lures i like to throw around it too this right here yozuri crystal minnow and the uh, tsunami glass minnow anytime i find grass out here that's what i'm throwing big mahi big mahi guys easy 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 loosen your drag loosen your drag i'm telling you he's going to fight a long time go loosen your drag and, and just uh that is a really big mahi. You got like a 20 minute fight, man. Oh, dude, dude, big mahi all in here, guys. Oh, I got him, fish on, fish on. I got the smaller one though. Oh, crap. I got the smaller one. Steve's got a big one. All right, I'm getting this one in the boat. And he's not a, he's not a bad one. Steve's got a freaking monster, guys. Let me know when he gets close and what I'll do. Is he under the grass? Yeah. Here, hold on. I see him over there. I see him. That's okay. Look at him. Look at him, guys. Oh, nice mahi. Watch this. Let me get let me get the grass out off your line here. This is not good, guys. Steve's got grass all over his line. Right there. Come up front, Steve. Hurry up front. Hurry up front. Don't let your line hit the boat, man. Here, take it around the front as fast as you can. Put any pressure on. Loosen your drag. All right, guys, there you go. You're free. You're free. All right, sweet. You still got a long fight, so a really loose drag, I'm telling you. Oh, crap. No, no, no. We got to gaff him. Sticky. I got him. We got him, baby. Look at there. 
perfect gaff shot, wasted no meat. The glass meadow nice. produced a stud. Nice. Look at there. <laughs> <laughs> Curse is broken right there. Now that's a cow dolphin. You can tell by the shape of his head, but that's a real nice cow. And uh, man, that's a that's a good one for the first one on this boat, Steve. Here's my little guy right there. Look at him next to Steve's. <laughs> yeah, that that was exciting. And, and let me let me just tell you, there's another one roaming this grass patch that's bigger than that one. And we're gonna go try to get on him right now. There's some good looking grass right in front of us here. See the fish on top? It's a triple tail, it looks like. He's on it too. I just can't tell how big he is. There's a tri triple tail right there, Mike, if you can get your uh, lure over there. There's also looks to be something else on top. Look at that triple tail. See his back out of the water right there? There's a huge feeding frenzy up here. Check it out. I don't know if you can see it. Huge feeding frenzy. We're going to try to get close enough to throw on them. Load here. Oh, they're coming right at the boat. Oh, I got a fish on. There he is. There he is. Look at that. Look at that. They're going nuts right in front of the boat. Uh, I was going to say, Steve, how did you not get one out of that? <laughs> did you get one, Mike? Uh, yeah, he is. These are fighters. Now, guys, this this that was a school of false albacore. We also call them bonita here, but they're uh, they're a lot of fun. And they had these little minnows just schooled up, and it was just a feeding frenzy. But sometimes we find mahi around these schools, so that's why we stopped on them. They are fighters, pound for pound. They're about as good as you're gonna get here. Come her down. Oh, look at there, catch and release. That was perfect. All right, you're going back nose first. There you go. So that was on the Yozuri Crystal Minnow. And those, again, those are the two lures I use out here most often are those glass minnows and those crystal minnows. They're just kind of a catch everything lure out here. So we're gonna keep roaming around until we find something else. Mike's on up here. There's another school of something out here. Oh, that's a Spanish. That's gonna be on. Some of those are big ones too. There he is. Like, how do you not get hooked with two trebles? <laughs> this is gonna probably end the day. Oh, he came off. Dang it. A lot of them out here. Oh, there he is again. Nice. I don't know how they're pulling hooks on two trebles, but they, but they are. Come here, buddy. Oh, All right. All right, Brant's done fishing for the day. So there's acres of these Spanish out here, and uh, that's going to do it for me. I, uh, I'm probably not going to fish anymore unless we get back to the dock and there's fish at the dock. We'll see. Mike's going to pull him in one more fish right here. Oh, that's a nice one, man. That's a good Spanish there. That's a frenzy right there. Look at them all, guys. They're just everywhere right here. How can, Steve, how can you not hook up? Really quick, reel it faster. Reel it faster. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, they love it, man. They love it. That's a glass meadow there. That was a quick morning. We just made it back to the bayou, caught a bunch of different fish. Probably could have done better, but the water quality was horrible out there. And we looked at the charts. Well, we should have probably looked at the charts before we went. We just looked at the charts and it's showing straight river water all the way to 40 miles out. And that's what we were fishing in. Before I leave, I got to catch another dock dweller here. What do y'all think? Can I do it? Oh, he just smashed it, dude. 
He smashed it. I'm serious.